I'm excited to see what he's gonna think. I'm so freaking nervous, dude. Oh my God. Why am I so nervous? Hey, there he is. Where, where am I allowed to look? We have something to show you. I have a feeling this is epic. Two, one, pull it. Holy shit. This video is sponsored by Squarespace. This is Mr. Beast. You probably already know who he is. I mean, he is just about to hit 100 million subscribers. So to celebrate this milestone, Mr. Beast reached out to YouTubers William Osman and Bobby Duke to build him the world's largest subscriber counter. William and his team of super nerds were in charge of designing it, building it, and making it work while Bobby was in charge of making it look super cool. But wait a second, 10 hundred. What does any of this have to do with you? Well, Bobby is more of a sculptor and a 3D artist, but not really much of a painter. So he reached out to me to help him out. Well, after freaking out for about five minutes and screaming like a little girl, I jumped on a plane to North Carolina to help Mr. B celebrate 100 million subscribers. I have made it to North Carolina. The pressure's on. <laughs> Talk about a big client. All right, time to pick up Bobby Duke from the airport. My boy Bobby, I can't wait to collaborate with this guy. There he is. What the? What? Go, 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 go. What the go. hell's going on? Go. What is it? No. What? Nothing. I just, I just wanted to get going. Oh my God, dude. Yeah. The next morning, me and Bobby need to go get some supplies. We need to get some paint. All right, man. Some... I'm done pooping. Let's go. Oh. Time to go, all right. Me and Bobby were very excited to start our first day of collaboration. But first, breakfast. All right, Mr. Duke, we're about to make this giant subscriber clock. Yeah, I know. Are you nervous? I'm nervous about the spicy level of my teriyaki chicken. Yeah. Yeah, I'm really pumped about the clock. It's gonna be cool. This is our first in-person clock. I'm going collab. to rely heavily on you oh, so baby. that I know what I'm doing, because I don't know what I'm doing. So after finding out the chicken teriyaki was indeed quite spicy, we headed over to Mr. B's studio. So these are the big, beautiful metal discs, but me and Bobby gotta paint nine of these suckers. Okay, Professor Peter here to explain some things, cause you guys might be a little bit confused about what exactly it is that we're painting. This is a very janky model of the subscriber counter that my assistant Nick built. Good job, Nick. As you can see, we have like nine discs here, and on each disc is numbers one through nine. There's some fancy computer programming going on with like Raspberry Pis, and as he gets more and more subscribers, this giant subscriber counter will spin and me and Bobby are in charge of painting it and making it look cool. That's what we're painting. Back to you, Peter. So what are you thinking about the disc so far, Bobby? <laughs> yeah, they're shiny. It's not made out of wood though. Sorry, that's a deal exactly right. Okay, it's time to prime. You know, Bobby has a lot of experience as a 3D sculptor and a woodworker, but he invited me out because of my expertise in painting. I knew immediately I had a long road ahead of showing Bobby the ropes. It was about 95 degrees Fahrenheit in the parking lot, and these aluminum discs were so sizzling hot that the paint insta-dried when we put it on there. It made it super hard to get a smooth finish because it was drying so fast. Faster. Oh, ah, it's hot. <laughs> oh. It's officially too hot out here. So we're gonna go ahead and move this whole operation inside into Studio A. Lower. So we're gonna move this whole operation inside into Studio A. That's better. Now we're living in the life of luxury. We got a nice studio here to paint in. So much better. Oof, 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 burnt my forearm. Welcome to Beast Headquarters. You find stuff like this around every corner. I'm a bad bitch every day of the week. If I hop up on the mic, they gon' play it on repeat. Good work. This is a real smile, by the way. <laughs> That's the thumbnail. All right, so we just finished priming, and the next step, I guess, is to project the art onto this thing? Um, we need all of the discs perfectly aligned this way and this way, and the perfect spacing, but we can't quite put it on the frame yet, so I don't know. Yeah, basically we're waiting for William Osmond. We're handling the art stuff. He's handling the engineering, science-y, nerdy <laughs> stuff. In order for us to make our art, we need the engineering guys to do their part. So me and Bobby are just gonna goof around in Mr. B's studio until then. I think that's a good idea. Hello. Have we met before? Quit hitting yourself. Quit hitting yourself. <laughs> Un Peter, I'm ready to art now. <laughs> I love painting. I, I 
might need some assistance there. <laughs> I can't seem to bend my elbows. <laughs> Okay, harebrain scheme alert. We have the frame here that all these discs are gonna sit on. We're gonna take the frame and mount it to this boom lift right here. Wow, don't go too fast, man. Heavy duty rubber bungees, and then we've got ratchet straps and clamps. Will that suffice, you think? Yeah, the frame should be able to take it. Watch out, trash can. Why'd Bubbles. you put this bubble wrap in the Bubbles. way? Wait, I gotta. Forklift. Man, it's like an obstacle course. Ah. Yeah. Ah, sheesh. Wow, that wasn't horrible. Oh yeah, can we just take all these off? Yeah. Oh yeah, we should do We're that. We're so smart. <laughs> We're so freaking <laughs> smart. Oh! Loud noises! We're smart. Whoa. Ah, my finger. It's Keller, dude. <laughs> Used to be a trucker, so we dealt with these straps all the time. It sucked. That's why I'm a tuber now. All these engineers working on this project, I think we just gave you a run for your money, because that's some grade A problem solving right there, son. Hey, look. William Osmond and his whole posse of scientists and engineers and computer programmers just arrived. Ah, finally we can get this thing put together and start painting. But then... Trouble arose. I woke up this morning and I wish I hadn't. We have a whole CAD model and everything and I have a prototype in my garage and this is somehow different than the prototype in my yeah. garage. No. Yeah. They made it different than your plans? It, it was a collective mistake. It takes a team to fail this epically. <laughs> the arms won't open when the discs are on them. The discs are way too close to the frame. They're supposed to swing out so that you can access behind them. So watch when you try to pivot it open. It just collides, so it's just... <laughs> The shafts are supposed to be coming out at 90 degrees. That one's coming out at like 88 degrees, and like two degrees is actually pretty bad for something like this. Oh damn, did we do that? Don't tell William. So anyways, we're at day, day one and a half, and things are already going great. How's your morning? It's been good, man. That's good. I don't know if I'll end up painting at all on this trip, but at least I had a good time. I mean, I kind of expected this. I don't want to say that now, but I hope Will doesn't watch this, but I was thinking everything's going too smoothly and there's no way it will work. After several tense hours with some seriously stressed out YouTubers, I think we've come up with a plan. Hi, I'm William, here for your hourly update. In this update, we haven't fixed the problem yet, but we came up with a plan to fix the problem. We're gonna get in a car tomorrow morning with all the arms. So luckily we made the arms removable. We're gonna take the arms down to the shop that made them. It's like an hour and a half away. They're gonna drill new holes and they're gonna put new shafts in. The shafts are gonna be slightly shorter so that they fit properly. And they're gonna be pushed out away from the wall so that the discs fit properly. Because that's the problem we're having right now is nothing fits properly. And that's this update. Signing out, William Osman. Over back to you, Tracy. Oh my goodness. So even though they had to send the frame off for repair tomorrow, we were still able to project our art tonight. And those are the LED panels. That's gonna be sick, son. Art time? I say art time. Okay, I am just getting the concept art ready. All right, projector's working. I drew this concept months and months ago, and now it's so surreal to be standing in Mr. B's studio working on this piece of art. Okay, they are taking it over to the machinist right now, which means we can't paint until tomorrow, which means we literally only have one day left to paint this whole thing. Uh, at this point, I don't know if we're gonna have Enough time to finish this. Things are going wrong, but hopefully we'll get this subscriber counter done in the end. I'm not sure if that's actually gonna happen, but we can keep hoping, we can keep dreaming. Okay, so we're here at Mr. Beast's studio, and Mr. Beast loves a couple of things. He loves a competition, and he loves giving stuff away. So, in honor of Mr. Beast, I'm gonna have a competition, and I'm gonna give something away. All right, so let's meet our contestants. We got Bobby Duke. Hello. I did a thing. Hello. Backyard scientist. Alan Pan and Emily the Engineer. They have balls in their hands. They're gonna try to throw them in this bucket before I finish doing my ad read. And if you get it in first, you win. Oh, you win a custom painted original game by, oh, by yours man. truly. Nice. You guys ready? Yes. Three, two, one, go! Squarespace is an all-in-one dynamic platform where you can build a beautiful website. Oh, that was terrible. Oh, come on. And with Squarespace, it's super easy. They have these amazing award-winning templates and all you gotta do is take your awesome content, drop it into their beautiful templates, and boom, you got a website. Little closer! Oh, yeah, in your face! I've been using Squarespace for years and years and years. It's super easy. You don't need to know how to code. You don't need to be an HTML guru. Gotta go a little bit to the... No!
Lord. But if you ever do run into any issues, they have 24 seven customer support and they've definitely helped me out of a lot of issues in the past. I'm gonna hit a bucket while you're trying to make it in. So what are you waiting for? Go to squarespace.com to start your free trial. And when you're ready to launch your site, go to squarespace.com forward slash 10 hundred for 10% off the first purchase of a website or domain. Thank you, Squarespace. Did anybody win? <laughs> How you guys? <laughs> Alex, the winner, that was amazing. Ooh, thank nice you, job. thank There's you so much. Page. That is beautiful. This is amazing. <laughs> I'm glad you like this it. Is, I just hope TSA lets me take it home. <laughs> I hope so too. <laughs> the next morning when me and Bobby arrived, the subscriber counter was fixed and functioning and spinning. Move, move over there, move over. You're in my frame. Scoot up, wait, come back over here. Come back over here. Wait, wait, okay, right, right. Okay, perfect. Hey, it's day two. Sorry, hold on. <laughs> This is Mr. Beast. Hi, Jimmy. Yeah. Okay, sweet. All right, thanks, Mr. Beast. Bye. Anyway, it's finally time to start painting this thing. They did emergency surgery on it. The metal fabricator was like, <laughs> What in the hell is this guy talking about? Yeah, I'm. <laughs> 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 so Bobby is probably going to be the world's most overqualified mural assistant. Uh, I'm going to be teaching him a few things about what I do. And then maybe down the road he can teach me how to turn a, a pool ball into a, a robotic spider or something like that. We'll, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. But for now, it's time to get painting. <laughs> yeah. Hundred million count for Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast. Let me grab a brush and paint these teeth. Yeah, I'm popping off with Bobby Doe. Clock is counting, feel the pressure, man. I'm about to freak. So, uh, I was working on this face here, and uh, uh, what's wrong? Nothing. No, just keep going. You're good. I feel like you're looking at me weird. No, everything's fine. Got some paint up on my nose, bruh. I guess Bobby's got them jokes, huh? No, no. In fact, we should go out in public sometime, but real soon. Just like walk around. It was super fun taking the Mr. Beast logo and kind of 10 hundredifying it and making it a bit more painterly. All right, we've taken it as far as we can go. There's been a lot of setbacks. Finally, me and Bobby were able to paint, but we only got one day, even though we came out here like three days early. So it's my daughter's first birthday. I have to go home for that. She only turns one once. It's Bobby's daughter's graduation. We have to go home and be good dads. So we're gonna fly home, celebrate our family stuff, fly back out here immediately and finish this thing. So I will see you guys in a couple days. And we're back. Juniper's birthday was a major success. Rage like a one-year-old. Look at her, she's so cute right here, right here. Gosh, it was good to get some family time, but we are back, ready to paint this subscriber counter. Okay, so down here is a Lamborghini that this cartoon version of Mr. Beast is riding in, and I'm super nervous to paint this. I've never really painted cars before. I paint people, I paint animals, but this is highly engineered precision steel and rubber, and uh, if I make a mistake, people are gonna be able to tell, so I'm nervous. But I've been putting it off long enough. Time to get painting. Everyone pay close attention because this is probably the last time you're ever gonna see me paint a real life car. Painting this Lamborghini was super tough. I'll tell you it wasn't tough though. Collaborating with Bobby Duke, I had so much fun working with Bobby. That. Just look at it. Look at that. Look at it. Look at this. Yeah, look at, look that. at this. Look at that. We attempted to put the logo on the side of the Lambo, but um <laughs> This is difficult. <laughs> That shit looks janky, come back here. <laughs> <laughs> it, looks, <laughs> it looks like Sid the Sloth with like some... <laughs> Maybe we should cover that with the blue bucket paint. <laughs> Maybe we should never talk about this yeah. again. We could pull up a PNG of Mr. Beast logo and like project that shit just right onto that little spot. That would be helpful actually. So no matter what we do, the Mr. Beast logo just looks janky because it's like through this disc, onto this disc, onto that disc, and the proportions just get crazy. So we have decided to take just the lightning bolt and use that. It's so cool that Bobby reached out to me and trusted in my art skills enough to paint this crazy thing for Mr. Beast. Bobby is absolutely one of my art heroes. This is like the most intricate thing I've ever seen in my entire life. This is so <laughs> sick. How much do each of these like metal gears weigh? I don't know how much they weigh, but I know they're like five foot aluminum discs. <laughs> they're... And they're all going to be rotating and he's gaining subscribers at like what rate? I'm not going to lie though. I've literally never seen a Mr. Beast logo look this good. This looks incredible. Thank you. This dude. is so sick. Maybe he'll adopt it as his new logo. I mean, I would. We were coming up on hour 24 of painting, but the finish line was in sight. All right. 
right, let's check these proportions. Yeah, that's looking about right. Reference. Bobby and I were both painting like crazy, trying to get this thing done, and all we were thinking about is we're gonna show this to Mr. Beast. What will he think? So one of Mr. Beast's most popular videos of all time was where he filled his friend's backyard with like a bajillion Orbeez. So in this piece, I have a ton of Orbeez and we kind of came up with a cool way to paint them. We're taking the water bottle, dipping the cap in, and then we just press it like a stamp to make lots and lots of little circles. Bobby is just putting his signature on, so we're pretty much done with the front. Now we might throw some other like Mr. Beast iconography going along the edges here so that as it spins, there's like other visually interesting things to look at. I totally hid a secret message in here. This will always be covered by the other disc. But you know, since you guys are seeing this right now, I mean, it only makes sense that you should subscribe to 1000. After about 40 hours of work and multiple trips to North Carolina, I think we're just about done with the world's largest subscriber counter. All right, I think we're done painting, finally. So I have a very important call to make. Hey, Jimmy. Yeah, we, we have something to show you. Can you come over to the studio? Yeah, okay, see you in a minute. He's on his way. Bobby. Yes. I think we're done and Mr. Beast is on his way to check this thing out. But before Mr. Beast checks this thing out, I think the people at home should check this thing out. It's time for some sexy, slippy, Swarthy, savory, juicy, smoky, delicious, well seasoned, smooth and buttery. I'm hungry. Final shots. The surprise is ready for Jimmy. Giant black curtain because we have a flair for the drama. I'm excited to see what he's gonna think. So freaking nervous, dude. This is killing me. And he just, he just still isn't here. And I, I just get more and more nervous. Oh my God. I just wanna go curl up in a corner in a tiny ball and just die. Why am I so nervous? I'm not cut out for this YouTuber bullshit. Ah. As you can see, the anticipation was really starting to get to me. But finally the time came and Mr. Beast arrived. Knock knock. Hey, up, there boys? he is. Where, where am I allowed to look? We got it covered. You're all good. Okay. We got okay. a big sheet. What's up, Jimmy? Not much. How's it going, boys? <laughs> where is it behind? A big behind sheet. A big Okay, yeah. how's it going? What's up, man? So we have something to show you. I know. Yeah. We've started talking about this like literally like six months ago or yeah. something yeah. crazy, right? Was this the catch me walking in? Yeah. Oh, a walking in camera. It's not hooked up to power right now, so there's no lights on. But okay. You're just you're just checking out the art. I have a feeling this is epic. You guys don't have to. It's All like right. you're trying to bring my expectations <laughs> down. Mr. Beast, you want to give us a countdown? Months of planning, days of work. Ten, nine, skip a few. Two, one, pull it. Oh my gosh, that is not what I was expecting. Holy crap. Wait, where are the numbers? Oh, the numbers are in the middle. Yeah. Wait, how? One, two, three. Bro, what, what if we get a billion subscribers? We'll add another disc for you. Okay, okay, as long as you can account yeah. for that. Oh my gosh. And so every time I gain a subscriber, it's gonna do yeah. that. Yeah. That one's gonna be spinning like crazy. Oh my. God. Obviously, we gain like 100 subscribers every like 10 seconds. Imagine if 24 7 it was just spinning like this. Oh, wait, can we just connect it straight to my channel so it's real time? Yes. Yeah. That's Perfect. Nice Let's this, go. This Holy sh Wait, what does this look like when I'm upside down? It says subscribe on the other side. At some points, it's just gonna be f***ed up. Yeah. Now I see what you're saying. So it's only gonna look how yeah. it should at 100 mil. Yeah. You're only gonna hit 100 million once. Yeah. So that's kind of, we wanted the whole art piece to sort of mirror that. This is cool. I like it. I love it. This is so cool. Yeah. The artwork's pretty f***ing sick. Thanks, Thank man. you, boys. Appreciate I like it. it. This is good. I wanna see it in action. Yeah. I wanna see it with the lights spinning and then like it updates real time. You just see this literally just go <laughs> yeah. Pretty epic, but also dangerous. What if it came off and just like mm. saw me in half? Saw blade. I mean, if I ever did go out, that's how I would want to die young. All right, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to 1000. Obviously, this is insane. Goodbye. Nice. I miss. Thanks for watching. Well, we can chalk that one up to the coolest things ever that I've ever done in my entire life and career. I got to make art for Mr. Beast. I got to hang out and collaborate with Bobby Duke. I got to meet some cool YouTubers like William Osman. I did a thing, Backyard Scientist, Alan Pan, like the list goes on and on. It was crazy. Feel free to click one of these other videos that are on the screen right now and keep enjoying that 1000 lifestyle.
Thank you guys. Bye.